Hi family, I'm Jordan Thorpe and this is Jordan's Journey YouTube channel where we are moving forward in life and in faith. If you're new here, welcome. If you're already subscribed to the family, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today family, I wanted to talk to you in regards to God is doing something new. God is doing something new. And in my previous video, I was talking to you in regards to passing the test, how your faith can be tested. And so today I wanted to talk to you in regards to many of you are starting a new cycle. You know, once you get your breakthrough, once you get the thing that you're praying for, what is on the other side of that? What happens on the other side? And, and God is saying he's doing something new. Okay, this is a new thing. This is a new cycle and a cycle another word for cycle is patterns okay this is going to be a new set of patterns that are being introduced uh into your life um that many of you are entering in this season and so i have a scripture i was led to scripture and Jeremiah 31, I know today is the eclipse where there's an alignment. There's an alignment that is happening around the world. And many of you spiritually are in alignment, okay? This is a, a season of divine alignment where things are aligning in your favor where many of you are going to be walking into promises, walking into doors that God has specifically prepared for you, prepared for you simply because the time is now. There's a scripture that tells us in Ecclesiastic that there's a timing for everything to happen in your life. A time to weep, a time to sow, a time for peace, a time to go to war and God said this is the time for things to align okay there is a alignment that many of the children of God are entering into okay and so with this alignment God is doing a new thing it's a new cycle many of you have entered a new cycle and another word for cycle is patterns okay a new set of patterns new habits, okay, new habits. And many of you are expecting change or wanting change in your life, but change first has to start within, okay? There has to be some changes within yourself that you have to make, okay? As far as renewing your mind, going through the transformation, and once the changes start within, you'll see things starting to change around you, around you, okay? And so change starts with yourself. So if you want your circumstances to change, you have to first look within to see what things you have to change and adjust, who you have to become to lay hold of the new level, of next level. And so with many of you, God is doing a new thing. This is a season of divine alignment. And many of you can be anxious, nervous, it can be a little scary, but remember that we do not operate out of fear, but we operate out of love, okay? Because God is love. God is love. And so you have to choose love. You have to choose love and, and love is, is the highest power. It's, it's the highest level, the highest vibration. So if you are always vibrating on love, you are operating out of the highest level. And so God is saying you have to choose love. And as long as you continue to choose love, because God is love, you will get to where you have to go. You will become who you have to become. God said there's no need to fear. There's no need to worry. God said trust him. And I talked about that in my previous video. And so he did lead me to some scripture that I want to read. Okay, and so this is actually coming from Jeremiah, and this is a prophecy that is being said that God is speaking over 
Israel, okay? Israel into the remnant. And so this is coming from Jeremiah 31, verse we want to start at verse 21, Jeremiah 31, starting at verse 21. And it reads, set up road signs, put up guideposts, take note of the highway, the road that you take. Return, virgin Israel, return to your towns. How long will you wander, unfaithful daughter Israel? The Lord will create a new thing on earth. The woman will return to the man. Okay, and so it says, set up road signs, put up guideposts, take note of the highway, the road that you take. So God is saying to someone today to pay attention to the signs, pay attention to the path and the journey that you are on, that God is leading to you. Everything is happening for a reason. Nothing is coincidental. Nothing is happening out of accident, but every detail of your life has been ordained, has been planned. And so God is saying, take note of the highway, take note of the of the road, the path of the journey that he's taking you on, because there are signs of who you are. There are signs along your way that will bring clarity and confirmation along your journey to help you move forward. And it says, return, virgin Israel, return to your hometown. So many of you are returning, are returning to, to your rightful position, okay? You were once lost, but now you have been found, okay? And you're returning to your rightful position. And to return is to... To return is to come back to a place or a person. Okay, so many of you um, are coming back to a particular place. Maybe you have moved or you you were out of some place, you moved, and now you return to a place that you once left, okay, before. And many of you are coming back into alignment. A returning returning back to your rightful state your rightful position as I mentioned it previously in the video that this is a time of divine alignment where things are in alignment where certain doors are opening because now is the time for those things to happen in your life so many of you are returning back into alignment back on track many of you lost track okay the the enemy got a hold and, and you had to fight and go to war and God allowed certain things to happen in your life, but you weren't defeated, okay? You're, you're never defeated as a child of God. You just had to get back on track. And God said, now you were back on track. You are returning. You are returning to your rightful position. You are returning to who he has called you to be. And so it says, return virgin Israel, return to your towns. How long will you wonder? Okay, so God said, no more wondering. You're no more, you're, there's, there's no more confusion. You're, you're no more wondering, trying to figure things out, but things are aligning, okay? And the Lord will create a new thing on earth. And as I mentioned previously, God is doing a new thing. A new thing is happening, new patterns, new cycles that you will be entering in this season of your life okay and the woman will return to the man and so symbolically the woman is israel and the man is god because throughout this passage god refers to israel as the woman and himself as the husband okay and god will say i was a husband to to the people of Israel, even though they disobeyed me, I was their husband, I was their provider, I was their protector, I covered them, right? And so the woman will return. So many of you will return back to God. You're returning back to God. You're returning back to who he has called you because if we can be honest, we, we lost track. Some of us have lost track, we fell off track, but God said there's a divine alignment there's an alignment that is happening where things are 
getting back on track. Doors are opening, doors that you have been waiting on, promises are being fulfilled. And God said, no more wondering, okay? No more bouncing from place to place, no more confusion, but there's going to be a peace, a peace that transcends all understanding, okay? That's all I have for now. If you need additional resources to help you grow in life and faith, make sure you check the description box below. God loves you so much, and so do I. Bye.